guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on our YouTube account and we are looking at one thing that I have yet to ever use. Um, I believe I used it one time over on the test server, but a lot of players, a lot of heavy pay to win players have said it is absolutely valuable, which again, I haven't purchased it. I haven't looked at it, haven't really done much with it. So I do not know, but most of you do know that I run multiple accounts. So we're gonna be going through the different accounts and seeing exactly what we can get out of this. Now that is, of course, guys, right here, um, the UZ bundle, you can see right up here, we do have Laika and her little fawn. Um, we finally got 10, that is right, guys, we got 10 of our primitive stones that we utilize within here. Now the stones do take, I believe it is a 15 day reset. So to get 10 of them, that is right, it is 150 days, so it is an incredible amount of time. Now, if you are like me, this is the reason I said save them. When this first came out, I said save all of your, save all of the resources you get out of here if you're not buying any of them because the only thing that is really worth it is when you go to the well, you can draw one wish or 10 wishes out of here or you can do the dreams. The dreams are what we're looking for, guys. Big thing with this, of course, looking at our prizes. Um, is looking at your wish tier versus your dream tier. The dream tier, you can pull the special, which this is what you want. This is like hitting the jackpot, the grand prize, um, whatever it may be, is when you're pulling the special. In addition, when you look at first, you have almost a 20% chance to pull time emblems, stargazer cards, then of course, some really good loot out of here, including some of our engraving mats. And then you also do have a chance to pull second. So this is second. Um, down here, you can see diamonds. We have scrolls. We have red chests. Again, engraving mats and pull coins. The thing that you do not want to pull is this third option, which of course, within the dream tier, there is no third option in here, which just is additional resources and some rare stones right there, which again, that is the reason why I said in the very beginning, ensure that you save the items that you get from this um, to pull the main part. So I wanna see if with our drawing dreams, if with our 10 dreams here, again, that we've been saving for 150 days between all of the accounts, if any of the accounts can actually pull the grand prize. So let's go ahead and see what we can get out of here, guys. So first one right here on the YouTube account, boom, draw our 10 rewards is pull coins. That's literally it. So we got 5,000 or what 1,000 pull coins. So that was our pull. So even if you're pulling 10, you only get one. You, you get one single pull. So again, that was the second tier that we pulled right there. We pulled actually a thousand pull coins, which I mean, as it being completely free to pull in here is not too bad. I mean, even if you got a little bit of engraving mats, a couple diamonds, um, again, the big tier that you wanna look at is the special tier. So let's go ahead and hop on some other accounts and see what we can get out of there. All right, guys, so here we are over on the FHG account. And again, saving up all of our resources to try to get something more than the pull coins out of here. Going to the well itself, draw the dreams. We have 10. It is going to be five scrolls. So again, on account number two, we do get our second tier loot out of there. So unfortunately, not nothing too good so far, but we still have four more to pull in here, guys. All right, so that takes us back over to our Lay Bear account. Again, looking at the ship, um, is it worth it a at this point? I would say absolutely not, but drawing an additional 10 dreams gives us some more scrolls. So again, looking at our prize, um, that is the second tier again. So that's three pulls with the worst loot that we could possibly get, not even seeing any of those engraving mats. And here we are over on the Wilder account. Again, we are 30 tokens in right now. Um, so 10 more, let's see exactly what we get out of here. Drawing our dreams gives us, we got the chest. We did get the chest, very nice. Look at the contents in there. Choose one of several rewards. So we got the, the, the jackpot over here on the Wilder account. Very cool looking. So out of here, guys, the, the solid choice. So the engraving mats, the red chest, or the poke coins. Um, poke coins you can buy every single day. Poke coins you can actually pick up from the shop refresh. Red chests do come out of events. So do the engraving mats. But overall, guys, to get these engraving mats, this would yield us about half of a um, engraving 30 to 60. So with the dream chest out of there, guys, absolutely amazing. That is very, very cool. We got the dream chest. So personally, depending on where your account is, if you have a lot of the meta heroes already built, I would absolutely go ahead 
and get those red chest, or if you have a lot of the meta heroes built, go ahead and get the engraving mats. There's heroes like Ainz, there's heroes like um, Lucretia that need it. There are heroes like Mishka that absolutely the engraving is super important. Um, if you do not have, or if you are building a lot of the meta heroes, I would absolutely go with the red emblem chest. Again, it only takes, I believe, 300 red chests to get a hero from a plus 22, plus 30 um, signature item, which 200 of those right there is very cool to see, guys. I'm gonna pick up the engraving mats out of here. Boom, that is 2,000 more engraving mats, giving us the ability to move a lot of our Wilers, which I'm going to be summoning for Anoki today. I'm actually being able to take them quite a bit higher with that engraving. But all right, guys, so that's five pulls, and we already got one of the jackpot loots in there. All right, guys, let's see if we can do it again. Over here on our Graveborn account, we'll hit up the ship, we'll go to the well. 10 of our drawing dreams is boom. Got a thousand diamonds, so not too bad. Even though we got um, the tier two loot again, we got a thousand diamonds versus getting the common scrolls. So still didn't get this first tier, but we did get the jackpot over on the Wilders, which was absolutely amazing to see. In our final account here, we are over with our Maulers. You can see our little Alero um, avatar right there, which is very cool to see. So 10 more stones and let's see if we can get the prize out of here. Boom, it is more scrolls. So overall guys, we got the tier two for, what was that, four, five of the accounts, five of the accounts gave us, or no, six accounts. Six accounts give, gave us that second tier, or five accounts gave us the second tier. One account did give us this absolute special jackpot which is amazing. I'm surprised with such a high probability um, that we didn't pull anything from the first year. So overall, is it worth it? Honestly, like I said in the beginning, I would absolutely save for this um, Draw Dreams, the, the 10 wishes. Now I'm gonna do the exact same, so I'm gonna have to wait another 150 days till we can get another set or another opportunity to actually draw out of here. But when you look overall, again, a lot of players within the guild, a lot of the, the pay to win players have said, this is a very, very good option when you're doing purchases. Um, big reason for that, guys, is if you look at the sheer cost of cards, as in like the Stargazer cards, um, they are relatively expensive when you're building out a couple different heroes. Here you get 20 Stargazer scrolls. Um, even out of here, you get some more loot. Then, of course, you get a choice hero. Let's say we're looking for Scarlet. This bundle runs $50. Um, you do get almost a full pull there you do get 20 stargazer cards but when you look at like your ship is you will get 60 cards out of here plus you do get 50 tokens you get about the same amount of diamonds i know you're not guaranteed to get a copy of scarlet or you're not guaranteed to get a hero from the actual stargazer but if you're looking to to purchase the hero especially when it comes like here with the awakened heroes um this is actually a pretty decent deal I believe with the $50 deals, which I don't have any up right now, with the $50 deals, you can get, um, I think it's 30 and 30, it might be 50 and 50 um, of the cards. But again, depending, within AFK Arena, you really have to go through and pick and choose what you wanna buy. Um, there are a lot of packages that have and hold a lot more value, which is the reason why I say really go through and break down exactly what you're looking for and how you're going to get it. And essentially these packs could be worth an incredible, an absolute incredible amount um, if the luck is there. Th that's kind of really the, the lotto or the draw to it because if I bought a pack like this to get some, some um, time emblems right there and I got 25 of our wish tokens and then went over to well, I did two pulls and let's say I pulled a first and I pulled a special that's an incredible, an absolute incredible value. Same manner if I come over here and I pull everything from the second and I pull, let's say, nothing but pull coins, value not quite as high. So again, this adds a super random RNG factor um, to AFK Arena and also to the ship itself. You could put a lot of money into this and see an astronomical return, or you could put a lot of money into this and see almost no return whatsoever. So guys, that'll do it for the polls. I, I still am in shock that we pulled one of our special guys, the Wilder account, super lucky. Again, we're gonna be building Oku out pretty soon. Um, that way we can do some summons for him. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you saved all of your 10 tokens to pull, um, did you get lucky with the polls? 
did you pull a hero that we were looking for or pull um, the special or did you just get the second tier like I did on most of my accounts? So again, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.